Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another exciting episode of The Kirsch Life. I'm Chris. I'm Brenda. And this is part three of our summer camping special. We are headed, we're actually gonna go have breakfast at a sit-down restaurant. There's a local restaurant here in town that we're gonna go try out, have some breakfast, and then we're gonna be heading over to the uh, Cascade uh, flea, market. flea Market. Yes, so we're gonna go look at some of the vendors that they have there. Maybe we'll buy something interesting, who knows? Uh, maybe later today we're gonna try to do our campsite tour of the uh, park that we're at for, that we've spent um, almost the whole week camping at and tonight we are headed back to McCall for a lake cruise with live piano music and sunset so sunset piano uh, lake cruise so we're really excited uh, for that um, so come with us on our next adventure Well, we just got through eating breakfast at Grandma's uh, Homestead Restaurant. Um, I was actually, I was actually well pleased, and it was it was a really great breakfast. Uh, home, very filling. Very filling. Good portions. Um, everything seemed and tasted like it was all freshly made and and or homemade. Um, so yeah, it was a great breakfast. So now we're headed off to the flea market. Come with us. So here we are at the Cascade Flea Market. Um, it's just right off. Um, the main road that comes right into Cascade. Um, basically, it's kind of your typical, your typical type of uh, flea market. You got a lot of uh, craft vendors and merchants and things like that, with some of their homemade stuff and um, things that people might want to get. There looks like there's a few food places in there. You can get jewelry, all kinds of stuff. So let's go check out the flea market. Yeah, we, we just, we didn't spend a whole lot of time at the flea market because it was really hot. Uh, yeah, it was really warm. But it was kind of cool. I mean, it, it was it was a flea market. And a lot of used stuff, a lot of handmade, uh, you know, products and... Then a lot of imported from China yeah, in, products. <laughs> so just typical, typical flea market. Um, I think there was one guy that wasn't really happy that I filmed inside a store, but oh well. Yeah. Um, other people were okay with it, so I guess maybe just ask so you don't like, tick off anybody. Um, but we did get a couple things at the flea market. I got myself a uh, freshly squeezed strawberry lemonade. And we got a gift for Vanessa, whose birthday is Monday. So, so we, got, we got a birthday, birthday gift. So. So yeah, it was, you know, I mean, it was success, success, I guess, for, for coming to the flea market. So if you're ever in 
Cascade on Thursday through Sunday, 9 to 5. Come check out the Cascade Flea Market. So one of the first things that I notice, so one of the first things you'll notice when you come in here is, is that the RV, RV park is just right off of one of the busy roads that goes through Cascade. Now you might be a little bit worried that it's going to be noisy and it's going to sound noisy and crowded and all that stuff, but we our, our campsite is actually right, right as you get into here and it's not quite as noisy as you thought it would be. Um, it's actually it's actually pretty decent so don't let that uh, persuade you from not uh, taking advantage of this great campsite. All right, on we go. Now, if you're not a tent camper and you don't own an RV, you can still enjoy coming to this campground because you can even get cabs they have available that are fully, uh, have electricity. Uh, I think some of these bigger ones even have uh, TVs and cable and things like that. So if you're not into the whole uh, camping thing, come check out one of their cabins. So some people like to come camping here for just a few days or a weekend, but there are others. It looks like they actually have permanent places here at the campground, so they've kind of set it up and make it their own. And in general, a lot of these people are pretty nice. Um, they'll say hello to you, good morning, um, if you follow the rules of being a good camper. If these people don't think you're a good camper, they're gonna let you know about it. So when you come to places like this, be kind, be respectful, follow the rules, and you'll have a good time. These guys are awesome. So another concern you might have when you come camping is, ugh, I do not wanna not be able to take a shower or use the bathroom in an outhouse while I'm camping. Well, Water's Edge has a cover under that too because they have a couple of gazebos that are hot running water uh, showers and running water for the bathroom um, and it's 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 a free uh, thing that you can use if you're a guest of this resort and even in here they've got kind of like a makeshift kitchen with a stove microwave refrigerator so you can still rough it out in the wilderness but still have a lot of the amenities of being at home. So yeah, so come check that out. Pretty awesome. So this is our campsite. So as you can see, a lot of room here. We've got a place that we can put up um, a little shade for our table where we eat a lot of our meals and prepare a lot of our meals. We've got a fire pit here where we uh, can roast our marshmallows and have some great campfires. And then we've got our spot for our tent. And it's actually a fairly large tent. So, but as you can see, I mean, we get a lot of room and it really wasn't that expensive. I think it was like $25 a night uh, for all the things that we get, um, for being able to go out on the, on the lake yeah, sorry, be able to go out on the river, being able to use the hot showers and the amenities and the bathrooms and all that good stuff for not very, very much. I've seen campsites or we've been to campsites where they've had a whole lot less and they've charged a whole lot more. So there is one more thing that I got to do.
it's definitely a workout but at least there's plenty of cool water all right guys um, welcome back we are headed back to McCall for a third time we got all nice and dressed up and fancy and beautiful well she got fancy and dressed up and beautiful I just really changed my shirt but we are headed back to McCall like I said we're gonna have some dinner along the along the lake and then we're gonna take our lake boat cruise around uh, Lake is it? Payette Lake. Payette, Payette Lake. So we're gonna go around Payette Lake, uh, and we're just gonna enjoy the the sights and the sounds of our of our of our cruise around the lake. So come with us. for some light dessert. Here is light dessert. This is from Ice Cream Alley here in McCall. This is a single scoop of ice cream. One scoop. One scoop and Brenda has already eaten some of hers. So, I mean, one scoop. And not terribly expensive either. I mean, these are like three bucks, three bucks a piece and plus tax. So, um, I got Huckleberry. Got salt and caramel. So we're gonna eat our ice cream and, and then we're headed to the boat for our river cruise or our lake, lake cruise. <laughs> it's hot. Yes, all right, it's hot, it's melting. We gotta eat this before it melts away. That was so much fun. It was beautiful. It was beautiful, lots of great scenery, really expensive homes that we will never, ever have. Yeah, Yeah. Never, ever. But it was great, so if you guys are ever in McCall, come check these guys out. The guys were super friendly, uh, made, made the whole experience really great and really nice, and yeah, it was great. On we go. This is it, we're done. We finished camping, and let me tell you, our last night of camping was quite 
an Interesting. adventure. Interesting. <laughs> oh, quite an adventure. Absolutely. Um, first of all, our, our air, mattri air mattress in our, in our tent kind of popped the seams and all the air went into one of the chambers and so we were basically sleeping on a giant inflatable pillow. Pretty much. Um, about three o'clock in the morning, um, the wind was really, was really blowing, lightning, rain, thunder, everything you could think of in a storm. Yeah, we had to get up, grab our pop-up shelter, stuff flowing all around the campsite at three o'clock in the morning. And I was half asleep. I don't remember most of it. I, I remember that we were out there. I don't remember much <laughs> after getting getting out of out of bed um, and yeah and then but it wasn't all it wasn't all bad news we did wake up to a, a, a nice surprise two deer two, just outside our tent just outside our tent I mean I could I could throw a rocket one I didn't but I could I, I could have they were super close and we were out there and um, they didn't seem to mind that we were out there they were just nibbling on some vegetation and things like that um, but the best part of today is we get to go and finally pick up Aubrey back at camp she's been at camp for almost a week so we're really excited to hear about all of her adventures and uh, let's go get Aubrey guess who's back everybody I'm back. so Aubrey we just picked her up from her camp here at Horse Thief uh, Reservoir, Reservoir. And Aubrey's going to tell us some of the exciting things that she was able to do this week. So, Aubrey, what was your favorite thing that you were able to do at camp this week? Uh, I think BMX bikes. BMX bikes. So you got to ride some bikes on a on like an obstacle course. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, what was what was a new thing you tried that you weren't able to do last time? Canoeing. Canoeing. And how how'd you like canoeing? It was fun. It was fun. So you liked it. Awesome. I went to Mermaid's Cove. So you got to go to a special place in your canoe. Are you going to want to come back next year? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Very good. Well, it looks like Aubrey had a great time at camp. She she did get a little bit of a sunburn on her nose. So we're going to have to put some cream on there to cool it down for her. I think we still have some from that sunburn she got from skiing. Yeah, I think we still have some, some sunburn cream from a previous adventure we had. But we're excited to have her. But now comes the not so fun part of having to drive all the way back home. So we're gonna head back home. So we made it home safe and sound. Um, our pets were excited to see us after for being gone for so long. Um, but now after driving and uh, just a week of camping, I think we need a vacation. From our vacation. From our vacation, yeah. So we're probably going to catch up on some sleep right now. Uh, but thank you for joining us and Aubrey um, on another exciting uh, episode of The Kirsch Life. And uh, once again, I'm Chris. I'm Brenda. I'm Aubrey. And thank you for joining us on The Kirsch Life. And remember that life is an adventure. So go do it. All right, guys. We'll see you.